Hello everyone, today we're going to be removing a camshaft, inspecting a camshaft, and checking your lifters on a 1.9 ALH DDI cylinder head. Now, to remove the camshaft, you have five bearing caps, and they're holding with 10, 13 millimeter nuts to each. Remember, these bearing caps are numbered, they have to go back the exact same way, in the exact same place they came off. This pulley over here, you're going to have to remove it. Obviously, the cylinder head is off the car, it's scrapped. It needs a rebuild and there's a broken glow plug inside so the cylinder head will only be for demonstration purposes only never put a cylinder head facing the floor like this you could score it you can ruin it take off the pulley 18 millimeter bolt set that aside now you start by removing the extremity the extreme uh, bearing caps i already took off you'd use your 13 millimeter long socket i find it easier to reach especially when the cylinder head is on the car i've already removed most of the nuts so, they're 13 millimeter nuts like this. You start with the extremity ones. Take them out, put them aside in a way that you remember exactly how they go. Same thing with these ones. You wanna take out the middle one first after that. Take out the two 13 millimeter nuts. Don't do what I just did. Do not drop. I like to cover with a rag. Thank God I have my trusty magnet. I like to cover with a rag to make sure nothing falls within the cylinder head. Take out the middle bearing, set it aside. Take out the two side bearings, put them aside. Take your camshaft. You want to inspect your camshaft for where? Where the, bear, where the bearing journals go, where the cam rides onto the journals. You want to make sure there's no scoring, no chips, no nothing. Your cam lobes, very important. You want to make sure that they're all the same shape. They're not worn, they're nice and pointy. There's no cracks, no chips. You want to make sure all your eight lobes have the exact same uh, texture, the exact same feel, pointy feel, everything like that. You want to make sure where your vacuum pump goes, it's not chipped, broken, or scored. Take your camshaft, put it aside. Lifters. Since you have all eight lifters exposed right now, you're going to take a magnet, remove one of them. Sometimes it could be a little bit tricky, they get stuck with time. You want to inspect the surface. See, this one has some spiderweb cracks. You don't want this. These lifters are fairly cheap and they're very easy to replace. So if you're going to remove your camshaft off your car, might as well if your lifters are not in good condition or one or two are not in good condition you want to replace them you want to make sure the bottom is nice it's nice and solid there's no cracks nothing spiderweb cracks like this would indicate some bad timing on the car maybe a piston smacked slightly a valve and it overstressed the lifter over here that could be a very good indication and maybe you should check your timing this is your lifter now you can put it back You want to push on them make sure they're very springy this means that they're unloaded this one over here is loaded it's charged with oil which is hard to push back down once you've inspected your lifters everything seems good your camshaft seems nice there's no uneven wear everything looks beautiful you're going to put this aside and we're going to get ready to reinstall the camshaft onto the cylinder head all right guys we're going to install the camshaft onto the cylinder head I cannot stress enough how important it is to use oil when you're reinstalling your camshaft. Also, what you want to check, since you have your bearings in your hands, you want to use a clean paper cloth, paper towel. You want to make sure that the bearing caps are not scored or not ruined of any sort. That they're nice, they're not uh, damaged. Same thing with maybe the extreme ones. The extreme ones are the ones that are going to probably suffer some most wear because the previous owners, when they do timing belts, you have to remove this a lot of well you don't have to but people remove this bearing cap to be able to lock the cam uh homemade style the uh you want to make sure it's not too worn because a lot of people sometimes will not torque the specifications and this will be too tight and it will be scored like you see on this one here compared to the other one where is a bit less scored same thing with the journals inside the cam you want to make sure to not scored nothing that the oil passages are nice and clear and you're going to be ready to put back your camshaft. Very important, use oil. Before reassembling this camshaft, you want to oil the journals. And I like to put a tab of oil on the lifters also. It uh, makes me feel better. Some people use assembly lube. I don't like using assembly lube because I don't like the idea of having a different type of liquid present in the oil system. I only like to stick to oil. This is just regular, this is just garbage oil. This is not the oil intended for this car, but like I said, this is just for demonstration. So, what you do is pour a little drop on each bearing surface.
like this. A journal surface, sorry. Since there's oil everywhere, you can just use your finger and wet the lifters with it. Same thing over here. Take your camshaft. You want to oil the journal tool over the top. Once that's done, you want to put oil a little bit everywhere. Take your camshaft and gently place it over where it has to go, aligned with the journals. Now, to install this camshaft, factory service manual says you have to start with the bearing two and four. Tighten these down, not all the way because this has to be torqued to specification first. We're gonna go check that. Put these two bearing caps first. I like to add oil on the actual camshaft itself. where the bearings are gonna go. And before placing the bearings, oil them just a little bit. Start with your bearing number two. Just put a bit of oil like that. Put more, obviously, this is just for demonstration purposes, like I said, and you're gonna place your bearing cap. You can do the same thing with number four. Put a bit of oil, excess oil over here on the cam. Put your bearing cap on. Now, you're gonna prepare your 13 millimeter nuts. You want to just finger tighten them first. We're going to tighten them with a the ratchet consecutively. Now, you want to slowly tighten these. These are going to be a bit hard. You want to go diagonally. This is what the service manual says. Take a 13 millimeter ratchet, start tightening. A bit at a time. One, two, And you want to do this till you reach towards the end. Remember, do not tighten, final, do not do a final tightening with the ratchet. We need a torque wrench. This is torque to specifications. We're going to go find it out. This might take a little while. You do all four bearings first like this. And then we'll get to the rest. Once these are tightened down by hand to the max, we're going to go get our final torque specification for this cylinder head. We're going to take our Bentley service manuals. We have five binders over here and we're going to look for cylinder head removing and installing. This is engine electrical. This is body. Here we go. Engine general, cylinder head and valve train. 1.9 liter. We're going to open it up. Which is number one the fourth document. Open it up. Count four. Here we go. Cylinder head and valve train. Timing belt, camshaft drive, removing, installing. We're going to go 15B19. Sorry. Camshaft, removing, installing. 15, 9. Nine. Explanation how to the camshaft. We're gonna go to see our cam bearings. Tightening torque. Camshaft sprocket to camshaft, which is the big tooth wheel, thirty-three foot pounds. Tighten down camshaft sprocket. We are going to look for our bearing cap torque. Here we go. Camshaft bearing cap to cylinder head, 20 newton meters, 15 foot pounds. So now we know we have to tighten our bearing caps to 15 foot pounds exactly. We are going to take our torque wrench and we're going to set it to 15 pounds. Since this torque wrench is in inch pounds, 15 pounds in inch pounds will be 15 times 10, 150, plus 2 times 15, 30, 180. So we're going to set this to 180 foot pounds. Inch pounds, sorry. 180 foot pounds, you're gonna melt the cylinder head. 170, 190, 180. 180 inch pounds. You're gonna torque diagonally these two bearing caps first. Take your torque wrench, and do diagonally. Set your torque wrench. You wanna do a nice even movement. You don't wanna force it, you don't wanna go too crazy. So, torque. Fifteen. 
pounds. 15 pounds. 15 and 15 pounds. Now we torque the two middle bearing caps. Now we're going to be able to install the other caps missing. Take your torque wrench, set it aside, don't bang it, don't break it. You don't want to do anything to disalign it. Bearing cap number one, install. Bearing cap number four, five, install. And bearing cap number three, install. Place your nuts. Start by threading them by hand first. You don't need to do with the ratchet. The camshaft is already installed at this stage. Already installed and properly seated at this stage. Put your nuts. You don't need a ratchet. You can use this by hand. Uh, like I said, the bearing caps are already installed, so I like to use this by hand just to tighten like this. The middle one first. And you do the extremity ones. If you're tightening by hand, you don't really need a sequence. Just make sure they're all properly to the max of their threading. Now that that's done by hand, take back your torque wrench. You're going to start this one. You want to go out. 15 pounds. This one too. Oh, sorry. You're going to do the middle one. I already did these. You're going to do the middle one. You're going to start. 15 pounds. You're going to do this one. 15 pounds. So you're going to go out over here. 15 pounds. Then you're going to go over here. Fifteen pounds. Then you're gonna do this one, and then you're gonna do this last one. Fifteen pounds. Now, what I like to do is I like to re-loosen the two initial ones we did first, just a hair, because I like to have even pressure everywhere. You don't have to do this. I just like doing this. Since these were the two first ones, you want to loosen just a hair. And retorque these down to 15 pounds. You don't have to do this again. The factory manual does not say you have to do this. I've done this all the time. Never had issues. Just, just a way to feel better. To make sure you had even 15 pounds everywhere. Now, once they're all torqued down to 15 pounds, you want to recheck them all, just to be on the safe side. Start by the middle and go work your way out. And that's that. Now, when putting your cam your camshaft sprocket pulley back, this is cone shaped. This is tapered. There's no splines or anything like that. Very important to be torqued at 15. Uh, sorry, 33 foot pounds. Exactly what the manual says. But you make sure you clean over here. You don't want this oily. You don't want this greasy. Same thing with inside the pulley. You want it clean. You don't want any. You don't want to give any chances for this to slip. Mind you, it will not slip at 33 pounds, but better to be safe than sorry. You put your camshaft pulley back. You put your bolt. You counter hold the pulley. Torque to 33 pounds. And that's it. That's how you install a camshaft. Inspect it on a 1.9 ALH PDI. Thank you guys. Good luck.